Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to episode number 16 of my AFC Wimbledon career mode. The second video of us after promotion into the championship. Lots of training going on. Casey Adu, Abraham Ampadu, Hartigan and Pablo Escobar. Yes, that is genuinely his real name. So we tried to get Lloyd Kelly to join the club on loan. He said no thank you. A little bit gutted there. We could have done with a uh, with a decent left back. Um, we're hopefully going to get Carl... Um, Pete Walker Peters as well, but uh, we'll see how that turns out. At the moment, we've got our entire defensive line uh, just made up of centre backs, so we, we need to do something there. Piggott and Key up front for this one, although that most likely will change in the match or by the time I get to the match. Wagstaff on the right, Pinnock on the left. But here we go, the Carabao Cup. Now, if you remember correctly, folks, from our first season, we actually won this. This is what got us into the game at Wembley, that we won. And look at that. That was the most delicious chip you're ever likely to devour with your eyes. That was absolutely gorgeous. It's Pigger himself. He can't score for Toffee in real life, but I tell you what, in this game, he's not bad. He's not bad. That was the deftest of touches there. Look at that. A lovely through ball and just there, just a little dinky. And it, it was beautifully done. Beautifully done. Pinnock now on the left. Plays it through. Piggott somehow beats the defender for pace and for strength. And look at that. Into the box. And it is put away beautifully. Billy Key, the man that we picked up as our uh, on our very first video, actually. back uh, Way back in September now. God, that seems like ages away. I can't believe how quickly this year's gone. Well, he pops up there. A lovely header and puts it past the Oldham keeper. Half time 2 0. And it looks like we are going to progress nicely now in the Carabao Cup. So, second half. Oldham starting to get their act together now, but that's that last pass that they really need to call uh, trouble us with that they can't quite put together. It's another ball over the top to Billy Key. Holds off the defender and puts it past the keeper. Down to his left. I was so happy when I scored that, folks, because Oldham started to press and press and press. They had a couple of good shots, a couple off the bar, one off the post, and I thought I really need another goal to put this game to bed, and we go and get that. So 57 minutes, 3-0, and it's looking very good. You might think, why am I not playing Tammy, uh, Ta uh, Tammy Abraham well um, it's the Carabao Cup I'm not particularly fussed about the Carabao Cup I am more interested in the league we want to avoid relegation which is a real possibility in our first season here so we need to consolidate our position and oh my god that is unbelievable shot there. Straight past the keeper. It is 3-1 on 75 minutes. And this is what I meant. If I only had kept it at 2-0, uh, two it would now be just 2-1. And they could easily press and press. And a couple of mistakes could get me back into it. So all three goals. Well, let's put it like this. You'll see it's 4-1. There was another goal by Billy Key, but I, 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 I couldn't find the footage for you. So there you go. So Billy Key would in fact get a hat-trick on one for Pinnock. So we're now going to sit down with <laughs> he looks so weird in this game we're going to sit down with the manager of Tottenham now uh, Pochettino and try and sort out about Walker Peters wages so 60-40 for us unfortunately but we get him loaned in yes that's one less defensive player that we need to play every game currently third in the league Fulham and Derby County in front of us Kel Roos obviously at Derby County very, very good keeper. Really should try and get him, if I'm honest with you. Appiah up front with Tammy Abraham seems to be the right way forward. And that is what we're going to go into the Bolton match hoping for anyway. So low. A cheeky chip over the top. But Deji's got enough height to get there. Casey Ado way back on the left now. Way, way deeper than he should be. And look at this. Appiah, after receiving a lovely ball over the top, just trying to stretch the legs of the... Uh, Bolton defender now, and it's into Abraham, and a one touch, one shot, one goal. It's beautiful stuff. Tammy Abraham, think of him more like a Drogba. He's got the strength. He's never going to have the speed. He's never going to have the speed, but he would be the next DDA Drogba. Okay, and I'm not saying that because he's black. I'm not racist. I'd say if he was a white guy as well. Didier Drogba Mark II, I think. So, half-time. Not bad. We're, we're winning against Bolton. Bolton, a very good team in the championship. So, uh, let's see what we can do in the second half. Walker Peters now. His first real contribution to the game. Oh, look at that. It was a lovely ball in from Wagstaff. And it's straight into the back of the net. Lovely stuff. Appiah getting one for himself. And it's about time too. Good player. Needs to be doing a little bit more. That's basically what his report card says. And my report card as well at school, if I'm honest with you. I was awful at school. My daughter's actually got her parent-teacher meeting coming up tomorrow. And I told my wife earlier that I used to hide 
the slips from my teacher saying it's parent-teacher meeting soon. Yeah, I was a, that bad of a student. So, Appia. He's happy. He's 29. He's getting on a bit. He's still younger than me. He's 29, but he's happy with what he's doing. So, good stuff. So, we have spunked a lot of money on a scouting network, okay? I'm not going to tell you how many millions it is, but it was part of the plan, okay? Out of that 5 million or 6 million we had left. So we're going to start getting some decent players into the squad soon. So we're going to be building for the future, folks, which is going to be amazing. So these are a list of players that have been suggested to me by people, and players that I've gone and looked at as well, with really high potential. So we're going to go after Declan Rice. We're going to get the agreement with the West Ham representative there. We just need to wait for Declan Rice to agree to it, and then Hi, he will be in the squad. Now, at home against Leeds United, absolute giants of the championship division. So what can we do now? Patrick Bamford, well known in a championship for being a very good striker. When would he make that jump to the premiership? We don't quite know. And look at this. Some lovely passing there, but Crocombe just gobbles it all up really nicely there. So... A uh, horrible, horrible throw. We're caught short. Phillips now plays it through. We almost get caught again, but oh my god. Our passing out from the back has been absolutely awful. It, awful in real life and awful in this game as well. And we go down 1-0. Right on half time as well. Exactly what we do not need, ladies and gentlemen. Good god, look at that. It was a horrible pass out. He struck it first time right from the edge of the box. It was one hell of a goal, but still, Dallas puts Leeds ahead. 1-0 at half time. What does the second half have in store? Well, let me show you right now. It didn't really get any better. Oh, my God. Klitsch now. Klitsch, he is clutch. Look at this. Plays it back in. And, oh, my God. Roof puts it away past, past Cloakham. It, it, it was a blast, actually. It was a blast. Not past. It was a blast past Cloakham. It really was. Jesus Christ. 76 minutes gone. And we are staring our first defeat in the face at the moment. And uh, rightly so, because I played fucking awful in this match. I really did. Good God, that was really hit with some power. So, 83 minutes now. Wordsworth floats one in. Nothing there. Comes out to Pinnock. Pinnock with a little touch there. Leaves it for Nightingale. Nightingale turns back inside to Thomas. Thomas through. It's played out to Hartigan. Hartigan into the middle. It's a hell of a header. It's a hell of a header there. Lovely stuff. It is 2-1 now. And I, I, I can't quite remember who scored this. It was one hell of a header. Look at this. That was real power there. Those neck muscles working overtime. Casey Ado, he got the goal, but it was not enough to get us back into it. It uh, all happened a bit too late. So we would lose our first game in the championship. Never mind, though. It, it's happened. And, uh... <laughs> you, know, you know when I won the Carabao Cup last year it enters you into the qualification round of the Europa League and I completely forgot so when this popped up I thought this was a glitch I had to go and google it to check it out so uh yeah slightly different formation you can see now <laughs> we're gonna go for a five I think this I think this came out as a five two uh five two three we needed that defence at the back, folks. We really did. So the players, not in the best of health, if I'm honest with you. There was a lot of games to be played in the championship and add into the Europa League as well. Oh, my God. But can you believe this? Europa League, I, I, I guess, graphics being played out at King's Meadow for AFC Wimbledon. Unbelievable. The opponents today, Montpellier, in the first of two legs for the qualification round for the Europa League. Look at this. I'm loving these graphics. It is so nice to see. Absolutely beautiful stuff. You'll see the patches on their arms as well. Oh, my God. Amazing stuff. Something I didn't think I'd see for a couple of years yet. It was pure luck we beat Tottenham at Wembley. <laughs> And now we've got to start backing it up. So, Sal now out to Perez. And look at this. They're coming forward. Aguilar now. He's got the pace. He's got the skill. And the, oh, my God. That almost went in. Crocom there just absolutely batting it away. Look at this. The header was from point blank range. Ampadu was doing very well to put pressure on him. But it would go out for a corner. A lovely little save there. So 15 minutes gone and we somehow have kept it at nil-nil this long. Look at this now. Oh, it's a deflection. But it would go out for a corner. So they've got a chance now. What can they do from here? 
Will the superiority in uh, just player quality make the difference from a dead ball situation just outside the D? He leaves it for the second player. Oh my God, it is a beautiful free kick. If we are going to be scored against, let's make sure that they have to score goals like that. Okay, because that was absolutely beautiful. Don't get me wrong, I'm fucking pissed, but still, one hell of a goal. Look at that, right where you want it. No one's getting to that. No one's getting to that. Beautiful stuff. So, we're down 1 0, 35 minute, uh, minutes gone. Gettner, and he absolutely launches a missile. He might as well be called Kim Jong il because he is just absolutely launching shit at the moment. Bloody hell. 2 0. And folks, we are in trouble. I thought the five at the back would make a difference. I went round and changed my tactics a little bit so we'd sit a little deeper. But we are paying for it. We are paying for it dearly. We might not make it past the qualification round. And it wouldn't be a surprise if we didn't. So, Thomas now, so let's see what he can do. He launches one. And oh, my God. For a defender. For a centre-back. That wasn't too bad at all there. So... What can we do now? We've got a lot of pressure coming our way. And it is a lovely goal. It is a lovely goal scored there by Montpellier. 3-0. And if you're wondering what that banging was, that was my PlayStation falling off its mounting. I don't know if it works anymore. We will have to see. But Jesus Christ, that was really something. A deflection again to ruin us. But still, it took that. So Wagstaff now. Howison, what can we do here? Can we get a goal? It's literally the dying minutes of the game. And what a goal it was, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely beautiful stuff there. Tammy Abraham, the on-loan Chelsea striker with a bit of genius. Look at this. It was behind him and he just... I just, I, I, I'm lost for words, but ladies and gentlemen, that would be the last real moment of this game. And what a moment it was as well. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Thank you so much for coming back, checking out the channel and the series. You'll have part two coming up in the next video. The second leg of this, I've been the game in Womble. So long for now, folks.